Uh, Dr. Brady, tell us a little bit about yourself um, and your role at the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut, if you would. Yeah, I've been in clinical practice of integrative medicine, naturopathic medicine, or functional medicine, whatever you'd choose to call it, uh, for about 22 or 23 years now. Um, I've been at the University of Bridgeport for 17. Uh, and I originally went there as a faculty member in their College of Naturopathic Medicine, their Nutrition Institute, and I taught a little bit in their chiropractic college as well. Um, about seven years in, after gaining tenure as a faculty member, I became a dean of their, nu their graduate nutrition program. And their, their graduate nutrition program was really pretty much the first in, in integrative, uh, interventional, what we would call holistic sort of nutrition rather than dietetics. And we were the first to offer an online program for physicians to complete that and, and put that as a capstone on their training because most doctors don't get that uh, in their medical training. So it became a very popular program. Uh, and then about seven years ago, I went on to become the vice provost of the Division of Health Sciences. So I have the pleasure of overseeing seven colleges, institutes, and schools, all with deans and faculties and students. And uh, so it's a little like herding cats, um, but it's, it's really a lot of fun because uh, it's a very interesting place. Um, UB has become sort of this center of excellence for a truly integrative healthcare model. We our mission is basically to change healthcare one provider at a time. Uh, we, we really feel you can't ch fundamentally change healthcare with, with regulation, um, with, with changes in reimbursement. You need to change it by changing the attitude of the providers. And at UB, right in the same campus, in the same public clinic system where we see you know, 40,000 patients right on campus, we have a whole network of community clinics and hospital networks as well. You know, we have naturopathic physicians, medical physicians, physician assistants, chiropractic interns and residents. Uh, we have traditional Chinese medicine students and acupuncturists. Um, we have a dental program uh, and, and nutritionists. And we have those people all integrating together uh, in a collaborative environment in doing team, really truly team management of complex chronic disorders. Uh, and we bring that type of integrative or functional healthcare model to a lot of people in the greater Bridgeport area and Fairfield County, Connecticut, um, that maybe wouldn't be able to afford it because they have no, no insurance, they're underinsured, they don't have the financial means, many of them, to go out to private practitioners who do this type of model. So it's a really fun place to be, and I, I get to affect you know, the, the education and the training and really the thought process of a lot of future healthcare practitioners. And in addition to your role at Bridgeport, you also get to literally put that into practice too. I do, yeah. I've always made it a point to stay in clinical practice. Uh, so I practice one full day a week. Okay. I have a clinical day uh, and I'm in an integrative uh, medical group practice in Trumbull, Connecticut, which is uh, it's in coastal Connecticut in Fair near Fairfield. It's about an hour and 15 minutes uh, outside of New York City, about two hours from Boston. And uh, I see complex chronic conditions, a lot of autoimmune disease, a lot of fatigue-related disorders, global pain syndrome, uh, functional GI issues and endocrine problems. So that, that's a lot of fun too, but uh, I'm sort of like, feel like I'm a medical detective. I, since I do a lot of lecturing around the country and around the world at these types of conferences, um, I get a lot of, ref most of my patients come from referrals from other integrative and functional docs. So the patients that come to me generally have big thick files, they've had a million things to test done and, and they're still searching for answers. So it's sort of like playing medical detective one day a week.